What's up, everybody? It's your girl, Megan, show up fitness instructor, and today I'm going to be going over planes of motion, what those three are, the actions that occur, as well as some exercises that you can see in each. Now, if you guys haven't heard already, I'm our director of CPTs, so if you guys have any questions whatsoever in regards to becoming a certified personal trainer, go ahead, reach out to me by commenting below, message me on Instagram at activeact7be, as well as my email, megan at showupfitness.com, so I can make sure you have all your questions answered and squared away. And of course, we don't want you guys just to become certified personal trainers, but also qualified ones, which is why we have our own SUF CPT Money Back Guarantee Internship Program, where you're going to learn anatomy, programming, sales, business assessments, everything that takes to make this successful. And the exciting news is we do have our in-person internship starting June 5th, this coming Monday. So excited to see the interns that are showing up there, as well as the online ones that will be showing up in class for hip anatomy. So let's get to it. Planes of motion. We've got three of them sagittal, frontal, transverse. I'm going to use the equipment on the ground kind of as a clock so you guys can see in that purposes as well as demonstrating and talking about it. So for sagittal, we're going to be looking at the kettlebells here, so 12 and 6. Sagittal is going to divide the body between left and right calves. So think of an imaginary line going down the middle of me. So I can only go up and down, back and forth. So there's two actions that we have in the sagittal plane. When I bring my humerus up, my arms, would be called flexion. When I bring them back behind me, it would be called extension. So some exercises you can see in the sagittal plane. I'll use the kettlebell to demonstrate. We'll have an RDL, a squat, as well as some curls. So those are just basic exercises. Most of the exercises that people commonly do are going to be in the sagittal plane. And if you guys don't know, we always want to make sure that we're strong in the sagittal plane before we progress into the other planes because we're more susceptible to get injured in the other planes. Now for the frontal plane, we're going to be looking at the dumbbells to the side of me. So three and nine on a clock. And the frontal plane is going to divide my body between the front anterior and back posterior halves. So think anything side to side here. There's two actions that are involved with the frontal plane, and that's going to be abduction going away from the body's midline and adduction adding back to the body's midline. Again, that matching line going in the middle, so going away, going back towards it. Obviously, with these dumbbells, we've got lat raises, very common exercise that you'll see. You can also see with side lunges. And of course, I can't demonstrate as properly because of my ACL, but we've got jumping jacks. So anything side to side is we're gonna be in the frontal plane. The last one that we have is transverse plane. I'm not sure if you guys can see on the ground here, but I have a band. So the transverse plane is going to be any other point on the clock here. So if it's not 12 and 6, it's not 3 and 9, then it's going to be in the transverse plane. So the transverse plane is going to divide the body in between superior above and inferior below halves. So think anything rotation-wise here. Now this one's a little bit harder. There are four actions in the transverse plane. So I've got horizontal a deduction going back to the body's midline and a horizontal abduction going away from the body's midline. So the difference between a deduction and a deduction, we have horizontal, so think like a horizon here. So horizontal a deduction away, horizontal a deduction towards. And then the other two we're going to see is external rotation, you can see here, also see here, and internal rotation here as well as here. Those are the four actions, some exercises that you can see with the band. We've got band pull-aparts, so coming here. Also, if we were to use the cable machine there or dumbbells, you could do reverse flies. Common ones you can also see would be like a chest press, so coming here, back to the body's midline. You could also do a push-up, bench press, chest flies, all those. Those are going to be in the transverse plane. If you look at lower body wise, you can see like curtsy lunges as well. Once again, like I mentioned earlier, if you do not have a strong foundation in the sagittal plane, do not be doing these exercises in the transverse plane because your client is more susceptible to injury. So if my client is unable to do a normal reverse lunge, I should not be giving them a curtsy lunge. So that is obviously harder, more progressive than a reverse lunge. So make sure we always have the foundations before we progress them to something harder, more challenging there. 
All right, so this was super quick, but hopefully helpful for those of you that have never heard about planes of motion or trying to learn it a little bit better. Now, if you want to become a level one SUFCBT, there's a whole lot more that you guys are going to need to know, but also learn about. So whether that's during our online or in-person internship, you're going to need to know when you take the test, the 17 muscles of the shoulder, as well as their general location. So if you haven't already, go ahead, watch this video. The 20 muscles around the hip, as well as their general location. So once again, have a video on that as well as our eight core movement patterns, along with agonist and synergist muscles. Also have a video for that. And how to program on the fly for a client that is given to you. So I have an example of programming there as well. And that's just for the test purposes wise. Of course, you guys get a whole lot more when we go more into detail, especially during our in-person internship starting June 5th, like I said, in our locations here in La Jolla, California, as well as West Hollywood, Santa Monica. We realize that not everyone can commit to the two months in person. So we do have online occurring year round. If you guys have not attended one of the classes before, go ahead, comment below so we can get you a free link to see what it looks like. And if it's your first time joining, go ahead, use my code Megan25 to get a discount on that tier. And of course, if you guys cannot come to us, we will come to you. We have weekend seminars occurring every month or so. So be on the lookout for those dates. And if you haven't already, go ahead, like, comment, share, and subscribe. So you do not miss out on any new content that I have or if you wanna see a video, I know I can make for you guys in the future. Now, if you guys wanna become a great, successful personal trainer, remember all you gotta do is show up. It's your girl, Megan, out of here.